All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, YouTube family. Welcome back to the channel to a very, very unplanned video. So today I woke up, got my gym clothes on, ready to hit the gym and get into the S13. Starts up fine and I smell fuel. I usually turn the key onto the S13, it primes the fuel pump. The fuel pump is unbelievably loud this morning, which is very weird. Start the car, car started fine, I didn't think much of it. I came outside and it reeked like gas. Then underneath where the fuel tank, obviously underneath the fuel tank, it was just dumping gas out and the fuel pump did not sound happy whatsoever. So did not plan to film a video. I have no idea what's wrong with this car. And in the last video where we tore apart the 14, I talked about how amazing this car was doing. And I guess I jinxed myself. So I guess the, I guess the goal and the plan is going to be to break down the fuel leak mystery fuel leak on the s13 sitting here not running the car is not leaking any fuel so i guess that's a good sign because i don't think it's necessarily the the fuel tank itself my s chassis homies know out there that if your fuel tank on any s chassis goes bad getting one and replacing it is a nightmare and they're ungodly expensive so so far i don't think it's the fuel cell or fuel tank itself so we're going to move on to Fuel lines, fuel pump, return lines, something in that area has either disconnected, has a hole in it, or has just gone bad. Um, I'm gonna start the S13. I'm gonna see if I can get a video clip of it leaking fuel for you guys, and then we're gonna jack it up and try and see or figure out what the heck is going on. saw from the clip it is only leaking fuel when I start the car it is not leaking fuel when it's just sitting not on so that what leads me to believe it's some sort of line that is obviously connected in through the entire system the leak right now is not anywhere near as bad as what it was when I first started the car this morning but it is a pretty significant leak cat say hi Hi. Okay, so my friend Kat just showed up right when I'm trying to diagnose the fuel leak on the 180SX. We had some plans. We were supposed to run to the store and pick up some things for Halloween. Uh, I think, in my mind, I think we should take the 180 out because it wasn't leaking fuel when I drove it last night. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I didn't smell anything. I drove it for like 15 minutes. So I think we're going to take it to the store. Call me sketchy. It might be sketchy. Yeah, drive a car with a fuel leak. Don't care. I'm thinking I'm going to take it to the store see how it does at the store if it's still leaking fuel in my mind i'm thinking that maybe i overfilled the gas tank and maybe that's why it's leaking but honestly i, I still have no idea so cat and i are going to take it to the store see if it's leaking and i'll update you guys on the road my previous statement of what i said that i think i may have just overfilled the fuel tank made absolutely no sense because it's not even it's not even full So my hypothesis of an overfilled fuel tank genuinely was just a dumb ass statement. I can't say that, can I? Was just a dummy statement. This is Kat's first time riding in the 180 and she commented on how loose the seatbelts were. It's terrible. It's a 27 year old unsafe <laughs> shit box. Okay, so. All right, fuck you. If we die, we die. I'll throw this thing in high boost and just All right, vlog update. Kat and I made it to Walmart. Is this a super center? No, Psh, we made it to some bum ass Walmart, not even a super center, it's crazy. Um, smelled gas on the highway. We drove for how long, 10 minutes? No, it was like 20. 20, that was 20 minutes? That was, 20 minutes, that was like 17 and a half minutes we drove <laughs> okay. and I smelled fuel, but not nearly as bad as I thought and it is dripping. So fuel leak, oh, 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 we're still zoomed in. Fuel leak, still unheard and unknown. Still, still, still heard. 
still heard and unknown. It's all right. The car didn't blow up when we got what, on the on the road. Didn't blow up. We're good. We're gonna go do some shopping and then we are going to figure out the fuel leak later. So I'm back at home with the 180SX. I wanted to finish everything that I had to do today prior to getting work on the car. Not to mention midday here in Louisiana is still blazing hot for being October. So I'm letting the 180 run. I wanted to leak more fuel. That way when I start tearing into it, I can see or at least try and see where it's actually leaking from. And then we can go into properly fixing it. And I'm a little nervous because I've never dealt with fuel lines or a fuel pump. I've never even looked at the fuel pump or taken apart a fuel. I've never done anything fuel, fuel pump related on a car. So this is going to be a learning experience for me. I'm going to try to do my best to explain kind of like why I'm going to do something. Um, hopefully I'm like at least mechanically smart enough to, to do it properly. So I got my Nismo. Mechanic onesie on, gotta have the right vibes going before I start working on my car. Check. judge me yes I put a spare tire underneath this tire I don't have any more jack stands because they're all being used to hold up the s14 so with a little bit of safety in mind throw a tire down and the jack and maybe it'll save maybe it'll save myself from being crushed if the jack lets go so the 180 SX is up in the air I think I'm gonna start by taking out this tire because that is the closest tire to the fuel neck the fuel tank itself and probably close to where the fuel lines and fuel pump is so Take off this tire and then we can assess whatever is going on. <laughs> Whatever's going on back there because it's not good. But as you can tell, this seems perfectly fine. There's no fuel on the actual hose itself. Some fuel around here, some fuel over here, and then there's some fuel deep down in there. I don't know, here, I'll try to zoom in. Try to zoom in here. There's multiple places where the fuel is dripping onto the ground, which leads me to believe the fuel leak is actually higher up on the gas tank that way it drips down and then splits and goes in a different direction. So I think the best bet is still on top where the fuel pump actually is, but I'm gonna keep investigating here and see what I find. <laughs> if it's leaking only when it's running, then there can't be a hole right there or else it'd be leaking on me right now, but it's not. So I think because I can see a couple of lines right in front of me, I'm going to start it watch the lines and see if I can see it leaking from there. Now, if I can't see it leaking from those lines, then it confirms my hypothesis of the leak being above the fuel tank where the fuel pump and the other fuel lines actually lead to. So we'll start, we'll, 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 we'll go to that. And I don't want to, I don't want to see, I don't want to see a single comment about my hat. All right. Shout out to Kobe. Shout out to Vixay for the hat. Y'all are, y'all are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. like there is two leaks there is a rubber hose that has a hose clamp connected to a metal line i'm guessing it's the metal line that then runs all the way underneath the body of the car that connection the rubber to metal with the hose clamp has a small drip on it fine i don't think that's that big of a deal the other fuel leak is coming from the top of the tank running down the side of the tank to the lip and then dripping on the ground so 
my hypothesis was correct. It is coming from where those lines go into the drop-in fuel pump and it's not the actual tank itself. There is no way that the tank would be leaking right now with it at half a tank from the top. If it was leaking from the bottom, sure, it could be a crack in the fuel tank, but it's not. It's definitely coming from the top, running down to the lowest point, and then dripping off of it. So let's get this put back together. Let's get in the inside of the car and let's find out where this fuel leak is coming from. All right guys, so I was about two seconds away from diving into tearing apart the interior when I realized that it's probably in the trunk. <laughs> so I popped the trunk. I found a plate with what looks like a cover and a wire or something off of it here. I do believe this is where the fuel pump is at. So four 10 mil bolts, well, five 10, five 10 mil bolts. We'll pop that sucker off and see if we can see a fuel leak. And it would be really cool if we did. I have three fuel lines, fuel line one, fuel line two, and another fuel line, you can see it on the bottom there, fuel line three. Regardless which ones are feed and return, there is that one that I zoomed in on that looks like it has some fuel on it. So I'm going to start the car, see if that one leaks any fuel. And if it does, we can reassess the rubber hose situation. If not, we're gonna have to dive into this one a little bit deeper. how well you guys can tell from those clips but the fuel line that i did zoom in on does have a small crack in it and i think i don't think it is it does look like it is leaking fuel right beneath the line it looks like it pools you can even see like the little vapor of fuel coming off of that line and i think i can see i think i can actually see the small crack in it so mystery fuel leak halfway solved so i think the game plan is going to be to loosen it trying to slide it farther down the metal of the actual like fuel top thing itself tighten it back down see if it leaks if not I'm gonna go to AutoZone see if I can't get like a generic fuel line and some new clamps and just try to make it halfway work I mean it's just a fuel line it should be pretty easy to make works but thank you guys for kind of watching and listening to me ramble about this because honestly it, it brings a smile on my face I love learning about things like this obviously it's why I'm doing all this but hopefully it's somewhat interesting to you guys so I'm going to figure out which one of these lines is a feed, which one's a return, and I'm going to try my plan of sliding the rubber down a little bit farther, and hopefully that does the trick. Did you figure out the Wi-Fi? Is that, did you figure it out? Is everybody's down? Oh, mine is. 213. All right, appreciate it. <laughs> not me, not me yelling at the AT&T guy from across the street. <laughs> I just want my internet. I just want my internet to work. On top of so on top of the fuel leak today, my internet doesn't work. Super happy about that. Yelled at the AT&T guy. He said go. He said basically shoved up my butt. So. All right, so I don't know if you saw it from the clip right there, but I literally peeled off the rubber on the hose itself, and you can just see it spraying fuel on the backside of it. So I'm going to try and run to AutoZone or Napa or wherever and see if they have a fuel line, and I can try to easily replace this line, and hopefully we have no more fuel leaks. vlog well i'm not doing this in the dark and i've got fuel it, uh, it can't even y'all can't even y'all can't even see me all right so it is too dark outside and i pulled the fuel line like just pulled literally just pulled on it and i got dumped fuel all down my arms and i'm just not having a good time so i'm going to wake up early tomorrow get out here when it's obviously sunlight out and get to replace the fuel line so pause breaking the video here we will get back to this in the morning
All right, YouTube fam, it is now the morning after. I'm not sure where I ended last night's clip. All I know is that the 180SX is now a paperweight because it has no fuel line connected anywhere. So um, hopefully I have a decent amount of footage, but I did go to O'Reilly Auto Parts. I picked up this 5 16 fuel hose. It's supposed to be a high pressure. It's not braided or anything, but I think this is going to be plenty enough to get the car back on the road. So last night I ended, I put the car back together, dropped it back down to the ground. So I'm gonna now reverse all my steps I did yesterday, which I'm not gonna bore you with those time lapses because you already saw it yesterday. So let's get the car back in the air. Let's replace this fuel line. So I got the old fuel line off. So you can see here, maybe, see how that's like frayed and kind of chunked off of there. So what I thought I saw when I saw the leak was, all right, so I got my new fuel line here. It looks to be relatively similar to the old one. It's a little bit longer. I got a little extra just in case. Um, then I got some Master Pro fuel injection hose clamps. So hopefully these will be plenty enough to get me to where I need to be. So we're going to start, get one slipped over. I'm going to feed it down through in the tank and hook it up. And fingers crossed it goes well. All right, so I ended up getting all of the little bolts out of the fuel pump and I got the new line mounted, not nearly as far down as I want it to be, but I think it'll work. So I need to tighten up this hose clamp, tighten up the one on the bottom, throw back in all of these bolts and hopefully it solves the mystery of fuel leak. Who have made these so small, Nissan? Holy sugar. Uh, oh my God. Show, show, the, show the vlog what's going on. Retrieve the bag. <laughs> I need to go wash this off. So, <laughs> don't ask me what this is. So I ended up dropping, I ended up dropping that O-ring into the tank. So I went into it with a fork to, to retrieve it. Then I dropped the fork <laughs> into the gas tank. So what you just saw was my friend, she has small arms and she just reached down to the bottom of the fuel tank and retrieved the fork. So no fork in the fuel tank of the 180. <laughs> let's get this O-ring seated, get the bolts on, and let's be done with this install or this fix, this fuel lean mystery fix. Yeah. <laughs> new fuel line in we are gonna start the car and see if it still leaks fingers crossed this has fixed all of our problems The SX is now officially fixed. No more fuel leak, back on the road, runs great, and I'm super happy. This is where I'm gonna end this very unplanned vlog. Just goes to show you that no matter how beautiful a car may look, a problem can happen when you least expect it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and thank you guys so much 
for all the love and support on the channel. Over 300 views on the first episode of the S14 Rebuild series and we're almost at 100 subscribers. So thank you so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Fork a drop in my drop and tank and drop and fork. Fork and thank you for dropping a tank into my fork. That's video, deep, deeper video, than you think. Video? Peace.